to mix. Shadow, Shadow, come here, boy. What's the matter? Come on, come on, Shadow. He's in water, and that's what's making him miserable. Come on. Yep. Oh, I can see him. There he Hi. Is. Come Hi. On. It's okay. Always curious. Yeah, he's uh, very always he, I, very been yeah he's always been very curious of everything. He's a nosy body. Yeah. Okay, so that's why he's in the pipe right yeah, now. Yeah. Pro yep. Okay. Good. Well, it seems encouraging. So. Oh, good. We had a situation here where a woman was walking her dog up at uh, Fairfield Ward High School, and and she uh, the leash slipped out of her hands. The dog went for a run, and he found his way inside of a of a, a drainage pipe. This this incident provides us with an opportunity to run guys all uh, over there. a training drill, utilizing all of the the special safety protocols that are required for confined space entry, with a, a significant sense of urgency. Um, Lieutenant Corbel did a wonderful job coordinating this incident. Uh, we had a backup plan in place. We had Public Works come out with a, a, a backhoe. We were able to lift the cover off the culvert where the dog was trapped, and uh, we were able to get him out after that. It was pretty easy once Public Works got here. So the dog was actually in the water. The dog was time. in the water, about up to its shoulders, yes. So I saw animal control take him. Is he going to get examined or what's... Animal, you know, what's animal control is going to have him checked out. Like a dog on that one and a dog on that one. Is we that a mean This is an example of how a unified command structure can be applied to just about anything. We had a situation here that from the grand scale of things was relatively minor. All we were talking about is a dog trapped in, his, in, in a pipe. But the fact that police, fire, animal control, and Department of Public Works, we called Scott Bartlett up and, and he immediately made arrangements from on-duty personnel to come over here and assist in, the, in this rescue, minimizing the cost of this, this rescue to the town, while at the same time providing us with a very safe way of, of, of uh, rescuing a dog. So this is, a, this is one of the great parts about the town of Fairfield, the interagency cooperation that made this rescue possible.